talking about he's talking about the church itself, believers, and he's saying that if they do not believe what God's word says, uh, then as far as you're concerned, even though they they have eternal life and they're saved, if they are not believing the truth of God's word, rightly divided, the result then is that they are following Belial, or they are following, as we read earlier in Second Timothy chapter four, they are following doctrines of devils. And, and so the idea then is that you need to disassociate yourself with them. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. They are believers in the sense that they are saved, but they're unbelievers in the sense that they're not believing the truth. They're not coming into the, the knowledge of the truth. So in summary, um, really, if you're looking for a Christian church and you want to go and you're saying, well, who should I believe? Uh, you should believe no one. That what you should believe is God's word. You you know that God gave His Word. It's true. You know that He inspired it, and then He's promised to preserve it. So you have God's Word without error. So you read it, and you believe it. The Holy Spirit is the one who will teach you the spiritual things of God, teach it to your spirit. And so when you do go to a church because you want the fellowship, and you want to learn things that the pastor has learned that you, that you haven't learned, and he's going to share that with you, then you go there, and then you compare it, just like the Bereans said. They compared and they searched the scriptures to see if what Paul said was so. They saw what Paul said was so, so they believed it. If you go to a church and the pastor says something and it's and you search the scriptures out and you see that it's not true, well then, you know not to believe it. You know, and if that pastor isn't willing to change, uh, isn't open to the truth, then you know not to go to that church. And then you can go to your next one. And you keep going that way until you find one that teaches the truth. Just because a pastor uses scripture does not mean it's true. We've already seen an example where you've got several scriptures from the New Testament that we use to show that you can be justified by faith plus works. But yet we had several scriptures that said justified by faith alone without works. So just because someone quotes a scripture doesn't mean it's true. We need to take the context. Is it for today's dispensation? If it's not, then we should be searching scripture for this dispensation to see if that still applies. And if it doesn't, well, then we should believe it. We saw the example in Matthew chapter 4 where Satan tempted Jesus with scripture. So just because somebody says, stands up in a pulpit and says something and then quotes the scripture to support it does not mean it's so. We need to understand that uh, the way that you preserve the integrity of God's word, the truth of it, is to rightly divide it understanding that Paul's epistles, Romans through Philemon, are written to us today, and that that doctrine is directly applicable, understanding that all other scripture is written to Israel in the prophecy dispensation, that while it's for us, it's for our learning, there's good examples in there, it's not directly applicable, and the doctrine, if it contradicts Paul's epistles, should not be followed. And when you find a church that follows that, is able to rightly divide, that's a good first step. And then you can compare what they say to the truth of God's Word as the Holy Spirit reveals it to you as you read God's Word rightly divided. And as long as what they're teaching is in line with that, um, then you're okay. And again, uh, you still do not want to follow man. I personally went to a church that rightly divided the Word of Truth, but then the pastor fell into some sin and started teaching some false doctrine. Now, I'm not going to follow that guy just because he's been right in the past. Your final authority shouldn't be that man, even though he teaches you a lot of truth. Your final authority should be God's Word. So when it comes to choosing a Christian church, it's what saith the Scripture. Look at God's Word rightly divided, and if the teaching and the church is in line with that, then that's a good church. And then when it's going against it, you can confront the pastor about it, and if he's not willing to change, then you need to move along, because your fellowship you have no fellowship with Belial as a follower of Christ.